What's up guys, Skitter Rampage here. So the Winter Convention Leagues do not stop. We have another brand new Black Clover exclusive. He's pretty cool actually. Now we also do have some new things on the Funko Shop as well as a bunch of new Christmas pop moments that are really neat and some new pop leagues that you might be excited for. So let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another Funko News video. I hope you're having a great day. Today we do have some really awesome stuff to go over. Of course though, we do have our question of the day and that is, who is your husband though or waifu from whatever anime you do enjoy? Personally gonna say Nico Robin from One Piece or Android 18 from Dragon Ball Z. Both of those women are top tier. So I'm really starting to notice that my voice is starting to bounce off of all the walls now because all the pops are packed up in boxes, the closet's empty, over there is empty. So hopefully the audio on this video doesn't sound too weird for you. Jumping into our news for Funko NFT fans, tomorrow is our latest drop and that is the Matrix Funko Pops there. So if you guys are interested in this, make sure to head over to the Funko Drop website tomorrow and make sure to let me know down below which redeemable will you be going for. As much as I do love the Matrix movies, I'll probably pass on this drop though. Now over on the Funko Shop we did have two drops today. One being a Funko Shop exclusive and that was Santa sitting in the chair here. This is actually a pretty cool uh, exclusive. I like this one. So Coca-Cola Santa in chair. This one is currently still in stock if you do want to pick it up and add it to your Christmas collection. Now another drop we did see on the Funko Shop earlier today was the Hashirama and Tobirama 2 pack there. Now this one has sold out but let me know down below if you were one of the lucky few to actually get this one. I don't think it was up too long. I still do have this one on pre-order so I wasn't really Really too worried about missing it, but I'm super excited for my two pack to come in because the pops themselves look great. Now lately it does seem like Funko is leaning heavy into the Funko Pop bigger moments here. As you can see we do have five new Funko Pop concert moments here. These did drop at Walmart today. They are Walmart exclusives. Now currently as I'm making this video it's only available to Walmart Plus members, but later on tonight it should be available to everybody if you do want to pick this one up. And these do retail for about $50. I think they just wanted to release them to uh, the Walmart Plus members as an early Black Friday deal and that's why they did that for anybody wondering. Now I honestly don't see these selling out because they're such a big pop and they take up a lot of space as well as that $50 price point so I don't really see too many people jumping on this. I feel like this is very niche. Now some more pop moments. These are actually pretty cool because they are Christmas themed here. These are shared from multiple different people here. We do have a Home Alone one that was spotted on eBay. Check that out. That's actually really awesome. So we do have Marv, Harry, and Kevin there. Kevin at the top of the stairs. I think this is a really awesome moment there. I would definitely like to pick this one up. I believe this one was probably picked up over at Walmart, like the rest of these ones were spotted at Walmart. Now it's not Walmart exclusive, so more places should get these in when Funko officially announces them. I think Walmart might have put them out prematurely on accident. Now on the right there, we do have an elf pop moment here. A lot of people are really excited about this one. This one was shared from Disc Trackers and Shoreline Collectors Club. We do have four different characters in there, which is really awesome. And I do feel like that's definitely worth the money with four Funko Pops already in there and then the giant diorama piece. And something else you have to take into account here is that Narwhal Pop is anywhere from $65 to almost $90 on eBay. So this is a great alternative for $50 bucks if you wanted him as a character in your collection. And on the bottom there, one my dad would really, really love is the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation moment here. With the house and all the lights all around it, him getting ready to plug it in, and it comes with four different characters. This one personally is really, really awesome. Now again, similar to the music ones, I think these ones might be a little bit more popular just because it's right around Christmas time and people are looking for Christmas themed Funko Pops but again they are really really big those boxes have a lot of extra space in them I do feel like and at that $50 price point I don't see too many people jumping on this but personally I really do like that Home Alone one and hopefully I can come across it in Walmart or pre-order it online now for these pop moments let me know down below do you guys think the price point is too high do you think the boxes are too big or do you love them how they are and which ones will you be picking up I am very curious about your thoughts and opinions on these pop moments now a few people were looking for updates on Marileona shipping out from Crunchyroll well guess what it is actually starting to ship out now here share from one of my followers Howells over on Instagram thank you so much for sharing that I think this is pretty cool that they are starting to ship out because I do feel like Crunchyroll has the better sticker in this situation over GameStop. However, I forgot to order it from Crunchyroll when she sold out, so I had to get it from GameStop. And it's okay because I was able to find her in store the other day, so I do have her in my collection now. She's just boxed up at the moment. So make sure to check your emails for shipping updates on this one. Now some quick winter convention updates for you guys. Spotted at Target stores, Summon Skull is starting to show up in stores. Uh, shared from Dish Trackers and Do Strength over on Reddit. This exclusive looks so great. 
I still wish it was a six inch pop, but it's okay. We got the character either way and I think he looks awesome. Now make sure to check your local Target stores because you could get lucky on this one. I personally have yet to see any winter convention exclusives down here in Florida in my area, so I'm a little bummed about that, but it's okay. This one is releasing on December 2nd or the week of December 2nd, so I'll just wait until then either way. Now our newest addition to the winter convention leaks, another one. This entire wave of winter convention pops has just been leaked out at this point. It's kind of nuts and Funko hasn't really said much about it, which is weird. Anyways though, shared from Funko Hobo, we do have first looks at Jack the Ripper from Black Clover. This one turned out really awesome to be honest. As you can see, I put up an image of the character from the show and I think they captured a lot of the details. Now, since it is a Funko Pop, he is going to have the wider face just because they do use that standard head mold for most of these pieces. So I think that's what's throwing some people off. Outside of that though, I think they captured a lot of great details with this character, and this one's going to be definitely a fan favorite for the actual event. Now referring back to yesterday when I was talking about Dorothy, the Funko Shop exclusive for Black Clover, Funko has just been going in on Black Clover, I feel like. The amount of detail and just how much they've been paying attention to Black Clover lately is really awesome, to be honest. Now, at the moment, we don't know where Jack the Ripper is shared to. When I find that out, I'll definitely update you guys in the future, but we're getting pretty close to Winter Convention because these exclusives are supposed to be releasing over on December 2nd. Again, we're getting really close to December here. We're roughly two weeks away. So I have no idea what Funko's doing and why they're delaying the announcements, but hopefully in the next week, they will start announcing these because again it's getting scary close and I feel like this event's gonna be a little unorganized well I guess technically it is already unorganized because we've already seen most of these exclusives outside of the announcement and they're all hitting stores now the last thing I do want to share in this video is a couple different leaks and rumors from pop media news over on Instagram now firstly from the movie up we do have Kevin there as a 10 inch exclusive pop with the babies that one's gonna be pretty neat honestly and then we also do have Galliard there from attack on Titan I think a lot of people are going to be excited about this character. Let me know, would you buy this character or not? And lastly, from Avatar The Last Airbender, we do have King Boomy. I think this one is really awesome, to be honest. This is going to be a great addition to anybody's Avatar set. Let me know down below out of these three rumors and leaks, which ones would you pick up? Well, guys, that's everything that I have to share for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any other questions or concerns about anything we did share in this video, drop a comment down below for me. And make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. Now, I do want to say a big shout out to all the Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. You guys are absolutely amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. We also have a Facebook group with over 15,000 members that's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias, at Skittle Rampage, on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and my Facebook page to stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.